Welcome to this video series for US Master where we talk about planimetric feature collection in stereo and uh, in this video we want to cover the measurement of buildings and here we want to use mainly the rectangular functionalities and also <coughs> some tools to help us snapping um, building parts to our building parts either in 2D or 3D. So let's start. We will activate the terrain tab and uh, the break lines. So I will measure in the break line layer, then select from the um, edit the create point line feature and do I will go into the tool options where we will first focus here on these rectangular um, options. I will start with the magnetic one and go here to this building. Again zoom level I press F5 to go to one to one zoom and then we start here with a very simple building. We will measure here this building here and I start to measure uh, here on the rooftop measuring the first click then the second click and if I'm not sure I can also press F4 and zoom further in with control and right mouse button I can with the normal mouse I can here move this is where the 3D mouse is a nice thing you can here also move the 3D mouse and the cursor will always be uh, here with your mouse sticked and then I measure the second corner and then this line becomes now for my rectangular magnetic part um, my reference so when I'm within 10 pixel distance to this parallel line it will stick parallel if I'm more than 10 pixels then it snaps, snaps off and so I can here measure rectangular and also always could jump back and forth you see it sticks in rectangular mode here and then I continue to measure the building again I keep control right mouse button to pan down measure this one here and instead of now trying to measure the last one here I can now hit the enter uh, button uh, this is not the same like the return in this case oh sorry the return button this is not the same like enter so with um, return I will my first and last point will connect and therefore it's then a closed polygon so and therefore I can here do this measurement if I would have an uh, only hit it enter then this would be an open polygon so the last line would not have been sticked to it of course I can change here the 10 pixel value and then I have more or less flexibility to stay with my rectangular line measurement or also during the measurement I can switch here and move from magnetic to non or from from non again to magnetic or I will also show the conservative one you can also set um, for the 3D mouse um, a toggle button so you can then switch between the two uh, different parts here in the preferences you can here choose between rectangular conservative rectangular magnetic and there are also toggle buttons that means if you click it one time you move into rectangular conservative if you hit the button a second time then you go into non mode then it will not snap anymore same thing is possible with shortcuts I can here select here rectangular magnetic to a button I will put this here in my case here to M like magnetic for me and then assign it and then when I click the M button one more time you see it switches off if I hit a second time M then I go back into magnetic mode the next rectangular mode is um, conservative which is very nice when you don't see all the corners from an object so in my case here this building here we have trees covering the corners I can see only part of the buildings and of course here the conservative method is a nice part uh, because here I can start to measure um, from a corner that I can see and from there on we can continue our measurement so I will just set the correct height by changing with the right mouse button here with the 3d mouse you have your wheel where you can change then you go into the correct zoom mode so at least one to one I will go here into one to two 
uh, 221. Then I click here my corner point, and instead of measuring now the second corner, I will now here just click along this line here and place it here. And this is where I place it here. And now when I move my mouse, you see the line continues in this direction. And now I just need to place a second one. I, I make here from this corner I, a continuation, so I make it this way. And you see I don't see here, but I can see here the last part. And therefore what I will do here, I will go on this side here, click this part here, and then we see here, okay, now I can place uh, my corner point here. I will just place it this way and then hit return to close the line here. And so I can easily measure a building, even I don't see all the corners. It would be normally sufficient just to have one corner visible and only parts of the line uh, existing. And this is a nice part for hidden parts. And then the next thing we want to show here also is measuring uh, with the snap tool. We have here a second part of the building which is lower than the first one and therefore we will need the snapping tools. We can generally deactivate or activate the snapping here with the snap mode. This one is also possible as a shortcut. So we can always toggle during our measurement the snapping by changing here in our shortcuts for the snap part this um, snap uh, um, function. So I will put here the button S for snap and then with the S we can then always toggle between the snapping and then we will want to measure um, to these line segments from our building and therefore we need to activate the snapping to the line segments and this is done by the first four buttons. The first one is nearest snap. So this one snaps then also when I'm here between vertices of the line. If I switch it off, you see here it's not anymore snapping because then only at vertices we can snap from lines. And here we can now snap to these vertices. In our case, when we have here the move to height, this is this here uh, move to snap, then it automatically even changes the height. I will switch this off. I just want to see the snapping, but I don't want my cursor to change the height. And we separate here between end and start uh, vertices and intermediate uh, points. Um, this is a historical reason uh, for scope. Um, in your case, always keep all three of them on and then you will always be able to snap to the vertices. For the 2D and 3D snap, we have here this um, magnetic. So if it's switched on, so if it's clicked, then it will snap to the X, Y, Z coordinate. If this one is not activated, then we only snap to the X, Y value, which is exactly what we now want. We want to measure here this building on a different height, but I want still to snap here at the vertex. So I measure this one here, then I measure the remaining part of the building here in rectangular mode. And then when I go back here to this part of the uh, of this line segment, then I also will measure this point. Here in this case now I want to uh, not go into uh, magnetic mode because I want to um, place my uh, point individually. So I will uh, deactivate this part. With backspace I can uh, delete my last measurement and then I just place my point wherever I want here. So I click it here and now again with return my first and last point will be connected. Um, they should be identical of course because I snapped to these two vertices and then we have our uh, second building measured snapped to the correct X and Y coordinates. We can take a look here in the profile view and then this should now um, be fitting. So when we take a look here Then we see here we have our two buildings measured. Um, in my first building I measured uh, different heights here. Um, I should have kept the same height, it would have looked nicer. But in reality here my upper building here is higher than this lower part. I don't know why but 
That's how reality sometimes is. Uh, but we see here planimetric, they are identical. Uh, in height, they have individual heights. The snapping distance, as at what time we will snap here, is defined here with these uh, values. So 7 pixel distance, we will snap then to a line when we measure. So if I go here to snapping, then within 7 pixels, and of course you can increase this value, and then we will already snap earlier to this point, or opposite-wise you can make it smaller. For the conservative, the same as with the magnetic, you can also place here for the measurement um, a shortcut. And here in the rectangular conservative, you have the option to place uh, your shortcut for it. And then again, this will be then um, a toggle functionality. So I put it on N because I had M for magnetic, so I can put just N as a neighbor button. And then we can here toggle between uh, conservative and magnetic when we are in the measurement mode. Okay, um, one last thing. There's here an option that we offer here is next view direction. In case there are stereo models looking at the same area from a different viewing angle, you can toggle them and then you have a different view. Sometimes this can help to see an object from a different perspective and sometimes this helps then to um, uh, look at the data from a different view and therefore you can see perhaps then the facade, have a better interpretation. Um, this is also something that can help to uh, measure more accurate and more detailed. Thank you for watching this video tutorial and see you in the next one. Goodbye!